Welcome back to Speak Up here on the CW Philly. I'm Natasha Brown. A new Xbox game is capturing the atmosphere of game day at historically black colleges and universities. It's called BCFX and its creative design director and part owner of the company is Ardmore native Brian Jackson. And Brian's just returned from a months long tour of historically black colleges and universities where he talked about the importance of a game like this. And he's joining me this morning to talk to us about how this all started. Thanks for being here with us. Glad to be here. We do appreciate it. Well, this is really exciting just to hear about this game, the, the only game system that's kind of directly uh, related to historically black colleges and universities? Yes. All right, tell me how this all started. Well, it all started, um, the four founders of our company, they had a vision of portraying, uh, making a video game that portrayed African Americans in a positive light. Because in a lot of the video games that are out there right now, unless it's a sports game, you really don't see those positive reinforcements of people of color. Mm -hmm. So what, what they did was they said, let's make a game that's that's really personifies who we are. And they went to HBCU, so they were f very familiar with it. They said, let's make a black college football game. So they got together, they came up with the concept that they wanted to do it, and I joined the company. And then we put together um, BCFX, the Black College Football Experience. And within the game itself, it's not only a football game, but it's also, it embodies the the atmosphere of what it means to be at a black college football game. I mean, the bands, you hear the bands playing, the, the music playing, and we made sure that, we made sure that the, the game itself was fun for everyone, and you could also learn about all, all the schools that are in the game during the process. So there are a lot of components to this game, actually, yes. because there are a lot of components to black college football and the whole experience, as you were talking about the bands, yes. from mm -hmm. the, the football itself, uh, and just that whole experience. So tell me what, what it's like to play this game. I mean, what, what's, so, what's different about this game as opposed to any other? Well, this game has something for everybody. Um, if you're a diehard football fan, you'll, you'll love the gameplay of that. But more importantly, there's two other aspects to it. The first one um, on the educational side is there's a museum in the game. And within that museum, you can go and you can learn about all the schools that are in the game, some of the famous players that went to these schools. Um, for example, um, you have, most people don't know that arguably the two greatest NFL football players came from historically black colleges and universities, being Walter Payton and Jerry Rice. You know, they don't know that um, Jerry Rice went to Mississippi Valley State or that um, Walter Payton went to Jackson State. So you get to learn about these and, and you also get to learn about some of the legends um, that have done so much for the sport of college football, you know, like Doug Williams and like Coach Eddie Robinson. And what's it been like just developing these games? I mean, I'm certain you've had, uh, you know, you've been traveling to different mm -hmm. historically black colleges and universities, making sure that the experience is as realistic as it can possibly be. Mm -hmm. So what's that been, what, that's, what has that been like for you? Oh, it, it's been great. Um, one thing that um, I want to talk about also was the, whenever someone plays the game, they genuinely have fun. And that's something that is, is odd in video games because a lot of people play games just to do something. But in our game, you play the game and you have you genuinely have fun. Mm -hmm. So what about me, people who don't know how to play games very well? Uh, even I could do this. I mean, this is yes. not something that's going to take you know brain surgery. Clearly, uh, exactly. So anybody can play the game. Yes, and uh, for example, um, in our game. Um, we made sure that our game is accessible for everyone. So if you want to play the football game, you can play that. If you want to learn um, historical things, you can go to the museum. Or if you want to have fun with the music, you can go in and go to the jukebox area, listen to all the music that's in the game. Or you can plug in the, the drum pad peripherals and play along with the bands in what we call the Drumline Challenge. And talk about the Drumline Challenge. That's a, that's a huge, uh, a huge experience yes. as well at a football game. And tell me about the music behind that. These are real bands that are playing, right? Yes. We didn't want to recreate the music themselves because each band has their own sound. So Southern University, for example, has a very brass-heavy sound. Um, Texas Southern, they have a very different sound as well. So we went, we went to these schools, we recorded their bands, and put their music in the game because we thought that that would make the game really authentic. So when you hear Florida A&M playing a song, it's really Florida A&M. When you hear um, uh, Texas Southern playing a, playing a song, it's really Texas Southern. Yeah, So, and tell me the response, just from people who have played the game and, and just had the experience overall. Oh, the, the response has been great. Um, um, as you mentioned earlier, I, was, I spent the last two years a little, little um, off and on. Um, on this tour, and it, we have a 50-foot tour bus that's going around to at least 40 different HBCUs where we gave um, people the opportunity to get on the bus and play the game even before it came out. And everyone who's played the game has really enjoyed it. Yeah, and now this is personal for you. You came from an HBCU. Tell me a little bit about yes. your, your background. Yes, well, I grew up in Ardmore, Pennsylvania, like you said, and I went to Howard University in Washington, D.C. And 
it's, it's been great for me. Um, I'm a second generation graduate from an HBCU. My father went to Morgan State, my mother went to Cheney, you know, so it's, it's, it's been great for me. And tell me why this was so important for you to do, just to make sure that the black experience was represented in the gaming industry. Well, um, the, way that it, the way it is right now, currently less than 2% of all um, developers and owners and game programs and all that are African American. But yet, on the flip side, African Americans spend more money on video games than any other race here in the United States. And so if we're actually gonna be buying these products, then we felt as though we should come together with a product that is meaningful for them to buy. Wow. Well, we're gonna continue our conversation, take a little break and mm -hmm. talk a little bit more about the game. And we've been showing some videos. So you can talk okay. us through some of what we're seeing, okay? Okay. All right, stay with us. We're back in just a bit. Welcome back to Speak Up here on the CW Philly. I'm Natasha Brown. My guest this morning is Ardmore native Brian Jackson. Brian is the creative design director of a new Xbox game called BCFX. It's based on the black college football experience. And we yes. do appreciate you being here talking to us about it. And you can find these all over the place, right? At Walmart, yes, different at Walmart's. stores. Amazon.com. You can go to our website and it'll take you directly to where you can get it from. All right. And we were talking just during the break just about how many colleges you've actually been to. You lose track, I guess, almost, yeah. right? There are so <laughs> many historically black colleges around mm -hmm. the country. But you started in the South. Tell me about what you did in terms um, of your tour. We, we started down in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And what we did was um, during the week, we would go to a, a traditional HBCU. And then on the weekends, we would go to one of their classic games or one of their homecoming games. And the classic games are, are a unique experience to the HBCU culture. So it's n we don't have bowl games, we have classic games, for example. Um, and the biggest one of them all is um, the Bayou Classic in, in New Orleans between Southern University and Grambling State University. And we've, we've been all over to all the different schools. Yeah, and, and back in my home state of Virginia, we have several mm -hmm. HBCUs. Yes, I've been to You've been Virginia State, yes, Virginia, Virginia State, there and you go. Virginia Union. <laughs> I always gotta throw that out there. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell me a little bit about the response from the college kids. I mean, like you were talking about the, the, the college kids, I'm certain are, are happy to see something mm -hmm. reflective of their experience mm -hmm. uh, out there uh, on the store shelves. But tell me what it's been like for you just to be out there interacting with them and, and their response. Oh, it, it's been great. and. It w I'll give you um, a funny story. When I was at Alabama A&M, the football players came and got on the bus, and they got the first thing they did was they went to the rosters to go see what their ratings were and to make sure that they were um, rated <laughs> actually good. But then um, I stepped off of our tour bus for a, a minute or so, and I, I wasn't going that bus so long. I got right back on the bus, and the band members had kicked all the football players off the bus, and they had the bus playing all the Alabama Alabama A&M music, and it was great. Wow. I mean, uh, not only do the football players really get into it, but all the band members get into it, and the drum majors and the majorettes and the dancing girls and the flag girls, they all get into it. Yeah, just a lot of energy there. Yes. And so tell me, now, usually, are these games pretty pricey? Or I, I have no idea in terms of uh, the range of the games. Well, actually, this, this game in particular, BCFX, is, is really only $40. So we didn't want to, we want to make it so that it was accessible to everyone. We didn't want you to have to go out and spend sixty, seventy, eighty dollars on a video game. We wanted everyone to be able to get it, so we priced it at forty dollars. Yeah, and you've been all around promoting this. Tell me about some of the national publicity that you've gotten. Oh, it's been great. Um, um, last uh, September, we were on the Monique show. Um, we've been, um, we were interviewed by BET and Black Enterprise, and we're really excited about it. And where do you see this going? Sky's the limit. Um, like I said, we're the only African American owned. Um, developer for the Xbox 360 and we're looking for bigger and brighter things coming forward. Yeah, and you're based out of Louisiana, is that right? Yes, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Now tell me a little bit about uh, overall just, you know, the experience, we talked about that earlier, mm -hmm. just, uh, you know, you're, you're seeing the game, you're being able to play the game and be interactive with that, you're mm -hmm. able to, to deal with the museum and learn a little bit about of history yes. with the schools and also the drum line. And we're looking at this now, let's just talk a little bit about what we're seeing here. This is the drum, that's the football game. That's the football game. So you can pick a person, how does this work? You pick a player? You, you pick a team <laughs> and then you okay. play as the team. Um, we, for each school we have their own halftime show and you can actually play, you can either listen to the halftime shows or you can play the halftime shows. And also with the, the drumline challenge, you can actually um, plug the um, 360 drum pad controllers in and play along with the drum pads with the game. 
Wow. Did you ever see yourself doing something like this? Well, I knew I always wanted to do something with computers, but I didn't know I wanted to do video games. Um, and that's why when I chose Howard University, um, I, I chose them because they had a good computer-based information systems program. So when I first graduated, I was, I was programming stuff. But then I really got into test and design, and when I really found my niche in design, that's when I got into video games. Yeah, and, and you, you never looked back? Never looked back. Right. Packed my bags and moved to California, and it's been that way ever since. There you go. Now you're in, in Louisiana, and, yes. and that's where you're going to, you and the three other founders? Is well, no, right? uh, I'm not one of the founders. Okay, there's, that's right. Yeah, there's, there's four founders, um, and our, our CFO and, uh, is still in Texas, but um, everyone else is in Baton Rouge. So what do you think this does? Uh, you're informing people of a huge, the huge role that African Americans mm -hmm. have played in, in the sport overall, in right. football, mm -hmm. and also highlighting some of the best players, as you were saying earlier, yes. that have gone to HBCUs. Mm -hmm. Also, do you think this really shines a great light on HBCUs overall? I mean, people who may not have even thought about going to one of these schools, maybe after learning a bit more about mm -hmm. them and learning the history of them, maybe they'll want to go. Exactly, and that's, and that's one of the main reasons why the museum is in the game, because a lot of people don't know that, that information. But what we did was we wanted to make sure that our game um, has a very good edutainment value as well because now not only are you having fun but you can go into the game and go into the museum and learn about all these schools and say hey I can go there because this person went there and I can do something special as well. Do you, have you worked actually just in developing the game did you work with some of the pro players that we talked about that have had roots there in HBCUs? Yes, um, Doug Williams, for example, who's, who graces our cover, um, he actually came to our office and he actually took the playbook that we had and rewrote the playbook for us. You know, and we also had voice, we also had Doug doing voiceover, so when you hear the quarterback doing his cadence, it's Doug Williams doing the voice cadence. Yeah. And if, you don't, if you're a novice to football and you don't know what kind of play you should pick, we have a feature called Ask Doug, and Doug will tell you which kind of play you should do. Oh, so yeah, we all can play. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to take a little bit of a break. We have uh, one last segment. We can talk to you a little bit more about where the company's going and okay. a little bit more about the game. Speak Up returns right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to Speak Up here on the CW Philly. I'm Natasha Brown. My guest this morning is Brian Jackson, and we're talking a little bit about the new game that he's worked on for Xbox Systems. And welcome back. Thanks for being here with us. Yes. So we've really delved into a lot where you're really giving people a realistic experience, the black college experience from mm -hmm. every angle, in, yes. in a sense. Uh, now, how do folks find out a little bit more about your company, just about the game itself? Well, we have two websites. The first one you can go to is www.nerjyzed, that's energized, Dot com to get more information about the company and to get more information about the game itself you can go to www.bcfxgame that's bcfxgame.com okay and you said the sky's the limit right so we're going to see lots more of these games out there on the shelves oh yes we have we have a lot of other, a lot of exciting things coming forward and if anybody wanted to get into this if they wanted to start doing what you do and, mm -hmm. and you know helping out in developing a gaming system what would, what would you tell them to do what advice would you give them stay in school i mean the, the more research the more education you get the better yeah. All right. Well, we do appreciate you being here, mm -hmm. and you're, and I can even play this. I'm, I'm happy yes. that when I can say Doug, ask Doug, mm -hmm. and Doug will tell me what play to do. Exactly. <laughs> and can somebody tell me how to play the drums for the drum line too? I'll show you how to do <laughs> can that. Can you show me how to do that? Mm -hmm. All right. So it's real interactive, and it's really a lot of fun. Yes, it is. All right. Well, thank you so much. We do appreciate you being here with us today. Thank you for having me. And you me. can get them at Walmart, Target, Best Buy, all over. Yes. Forty bucks. Yes. And that's about the price of other games, right? It's a little cheaper because um, okay. we want to make sure that it was accessible for everybody. Okay, all right. Anything else you'd want to say just about telling folks about HBCUs, like why, why they should attend one? What did it do for your life? Oh, Howard University was, the, was my choice. I mean, I, when I came out of high school, I had a lot of offers to go other places, but I chose Howard, and I'm very glad for it. Yeah, and the experience is always different. I mean, I went to James Madison University in mm -hmm. Virginia, but the experience is different, just knowing people that have gone to an HBCU. Uh, do you feel a sense of connectedness even after school? Yes, I really do. And, and a lot of my a lot of my friends that um, I went to Howard with, I mean, we're we're diehard friends for life. Yeah, and do you still see the attendance there at HBCU still, uh, you know, not a factor? I mean, still people are wanting to go more yes. and more. Yes, a great deal, and and actually um, I see it a lot because I'm. I'm a regional representative of the Howard University Alumni Association, so I get, I get to see all those. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks again for being here. Pick up the BCFX game. Mm -hmm. 
All right, thanks so much. That's going to wrap up our show today. Thanks to all of my guests for being here with us. For more information on today's topics, you can go to our website if you'd like, cwphilly.com slash speakup. And while you're there, you can offer a comment on today's show or offer suggestions for a future show. We'd love to hear from you. I'm Natasha Brown, and thanks so much for watching. Take care.